Now let's draw these three altitudes. We're going to go like this, um, take our ruler, and we're going to, well, we're going to square it up, uh, just like we did when we drew our perpendicular bisectors. See how we can use these divisions like this. We have a clear ruler. We can line this, well, this up with the AC, the segment AC. That gives us a perpendicular for purpose of drawing. I'm going to slide it over, slide it over so that it's perpendicular and it goes through this B. And then I'm just going to take my um, take my ruler and uh, take my pencil and give it a draw just like that. Snap. Hey, let's do that for another side. So again, just square up the ruler. You gotta square it up like this. A little bit more. You got so again a clear ruler works best. Line it up like that. Leave the width for your pencil. Stretch it out wah, like that. Now we're drawing an altitude. Hey, one more and we've got this. So again, I'll square it up to the third side. Every triangle has three bases. Every triangle has three altitudes. So again, we square it up and then we slide it over so that it's going to go through. The pencil will go from our vertex, extend from our vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. So here we go, draw the last one, snap. And what have we got? The three, yes, they are concurrent. They meet at a single point, and that point is the ortho center. Now, let's try one that's obtuse. Draw the altitudes on this obtuse triangle. A little bit different this time. We're, remember we said that the altitude is drawn from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side or extension of the opposite side. Yeah, you've got to extend these sides. So put your Sammy straight edge right there on JK like this, and let's extend the figure like that. So I'm going to draw and just wah! There you go. Now, that's the extension of the side. So now when I turn my, well, I turn my ruler this way, and I'm going to try to square it up so I can get it, draw it nice. Um, let me see, square it up like that. Slide it over, and there you go. Now, I guess we can, um, um, right there, draw that in. Nice. So, that is one altitude. That altitude is outside of the figure. Now, um, let's see, we got two more altitudes. I've got another one over here, and let's square it up this way. I'm just squaring up the ruler right there. You can see that this little division mark for the five right here lines up with the HK. And I'm squared up and move it so it's passing through the J. I really like these transparent type straight edges. Ah, that's another altitude. Again, from a vertex drawn perpendicular to the opposite side. Hey, one more. Well, um, you know, this one's the same same as the first there. It's going to be outside the figure. So again, the first thing you've got to do is extend this base. So you're going to take your straight edge, and you're going to just whoa, oh, give that an extension. And uh, well, maybe I well, should have gone a little bit farther there. Hang on, let me go a little bit farther. That's that's more like it. And then I'm going to square this up with my straight edge. Move it like this. I need to be forming a right angle right there. And oh yeah. There it is. So draw that in. And you know looks a little funny here because I've got these three segments. Remember, altitude can be a segment if we're talking about calculating area, but you can also consider an altitude a line. And let me change the scale on this a little bit on our drawing. And let's move it up like this. 
Now, remember the other ones, they all had an intersection. Well, these do too if we extend the altitudes like that. They're all going to meet here, outside of the figure. So look at that. The obtuse triangle does have an orthocenter, and this orthocenter is on the outside of the triangle. Pretty cool, huh?